Welcome back to Soyworks and NC Twitter YouTube channel. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. In this Soyworks tutorial, we are going to make the 3D model using this 2D drawing. So our model will look like this. So watch the complete video. Let's start. So first of all, in drawing, we are going to make these two circles of 15 mm dia and 28 mm dia and then we will extrude them to 50 mm length so simply first of all you will select the front plane go to sketch and now we are going to make the two circles with the dia of 28 and dia 15 like this so now simply go to the features and select extrude from here select the mid plane and give it the length of 50 mm select ok so now our base feature is ready so now we have to make these upper shape so for that first of all we are going to make this reference point with the length of 45 mm so simply select this face, go to sketch and make the reference point vertical to this midpoint and make the length of 45 mm like this. So now we have to make the two circles with the dia of 35 and dia of 50. So now we will make a two circle with dia of 35 and dia of 50 like this and now from here you can see that the circle is intersecting with the length of 5 so we are going to make another reference point from here and we are going to make the 5 mm length like this so now we are going to select these two points and we will give the length of 5 mm and on these 5 mm length we are going to insert, intersect these two circles like this So after that simply trim the extra entities and you have got the shape of your upper model. Now we have to make the base of the upper model for that we will simply make a center line and we will select the midpoint line from here. So the total length is 20 mm. First of all we will make the vertical line, select the small dimension from here and give it the length of 20 mm. Now simply again select the midpoint line, select this point and drag it to word this circle. So repeat this procedure for other point like this. Now simply, so now simply trim the entities like this. So now you can see that our base sketch is ready for extrude we simply have to close this contour too now simply go to exit sketch and before going exiting the sketch you have to trim the entities like this and select ok go to exit sketch um, now what we are going to do is we will simply select this sketch select the feature select base from here and now simply select these two contours and from here you will select the offset command and give it the value of 6 mm so now from here you can see that the distance from this face to this sketch is 6 mm and it is extruded to 5 mm so we will make the offset of 6 mm and we will give the depth of 5 mm and make this reverse direction and select ok. 
So now you can see our base is ready. Now we will simply make the mid plane by selecting these two faces and select reference plane, select OK. And now we are going to convert the entities we have made on this plane one. Go to sketch and select these sketches like this and select convert entities. So now go to exit sketch, go to feature, select extrude from here, select mid plane and give it the value of 7 mm, select OK. So now you can see that our upper model is ready. From here you can see the distance of 7 mm. So the this upper part is 7 mm extruded and this one is 5 mm extruded. So now we are going to make this one part. So for that you can see that it is 30 degree at angle. So we are going to select this face, go to sketch and we are going to make the construction line or center line and we will give it the angle like this. So select this line, select this center line and give it the angle of 30 degree. So the distance the so the distance of this center line is 30 plus 35 so it is total of 65 mm so we will give it the value of 65 select smart dimension simply from here and simply give it the value of 65 mm go to exit sketch now we are going to make the plane at this point. So for that we have to go to the reference geometry, select this point and select this construction line. So you can see that we have made the plane here, select OK. Now simply again go to the sketch, select normal to command. Now we are going to make this 10 mm width and 12 mm length rectangle. So we will select corner rectangle from here, select the dimension with 12 mm width and 10 mm length. Select OK. So select the midpoint of this sketch and first of all select the reference point and make the reference point at the mid of this circle. Now again select this midpoint and select this endpoint and make it coincident. So now you can see that we are, our sketch is at the mid. So now simply we are going to use the extrude command. So simply go to extrude, select up to surface and select this surface. So now you can see that our geometry has been made, select OK from here. So this geometry is not complete, we have to make this extra feature too. So for that we have to make the 30 mm length. So simply select this face, go to sketch and make the rectangle like this. Now simply select this edge and this edge and give it the value of 30 mm and the height is also 30. So once our this sketch has been made simply again go to extrude command and select the up, up to surface and select this surface. Select OK from here. So now you can see how easily we have made the geometry which was at angle. So now we are going to use simply fillets and the fillet is of radius 2 and the fillet we are going to use at this edge is 5. So simply select the fillet command, select this edge and this edge and give it the value of 5 mm, select OK. 
now simply again go to fillet select this edge this edge and this one edge and give it the value of 2m like this so select ok from here and now what we are going to do is we are going to make the hole with the 15mm uh, distance to the center so simply again select this sketch go to sketch command and make the circle like this so the dia of circle is of 15mm and the distance from this center to this edge is also 15m so select ok and from this center to this side the distance is also 15 so again simply go to exit sketch select feature and select extruded cut from here so select through all both select ok now we are going to use the fillet command for these features so now from here you can see that this all is of 2mm so we are going to select this edge this edge with the value of 2mm and we are going to select this one edge too select this edge and this edge so now you can see that our 80% fillet is ready one fillet is left which is this edge so we will select this edge for the fillet command select ok so now you can see our complete part is ready if you want to analyze the dimensions just simply double click on this face like this or you can enable the annotations like this so you can analyze and edit any dimension you want so this was simple tutorial on the exercise of solidworks so stay tuned and keep watching our channel for the more interesting videos